All right, folks, it was the most epic day for the number three. <laughs> so we're going to get more gems on the board here. Man, all in a day's work, eh? <laughs> Watch all these videos. It was the most epic day indeed. Well, the day's not over, so let's buy some fresh real estate here and uh, share some more awesome things here. Okay, so I went to Trinity Western University um, and parked in parking stall number 27. I just marvel at how everything is like foreordained um, for the glory of the Trinity. But um, while I was at the gym there, I just love sharing like all the personal gems that I see God ordaining in my life everywhere. Um, I went to Trinity Western University. Um, use the gym and they have a brand new set of weights made and they're branded staff S-D-A-K which of course divides by three perfectly check equals 51 and then uh, furthermore there's another name Hampton that divides by three check that makes these brand of weights okay. <clears throat> everything is a gift everything is foreordained you just go around scooping up the gold you're like and so now you do the math on the stack, you're like, thank you, Jehovah, for these stack weights. Sweet. Oh, my favorite item to use at the gym is the Mikasa volleyball, Mikasa equals love, which I did a giant pound fest in the gym once again. Um, the Cleveland Cavaliers won today, as expected, in game four. They won, and they are in the finals, as we predicted they would be. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers being 168, seven volts out of triple eights. Um, it's going to be an awesome showdown between them and the Golden State Warriors, but the Golden State Warriors are going to win <laughs> because they are the team's team and their entire team is Christian, <laughs> okay? Um, and it's going to be an awesome three fest. And we're going to see uh, Stephen Curry and the entire Golden State Warriors team win the NBA championship, but it's going to be an awesome uh, three fest between the two final teams. Um, I did not watch the game live today because I don't... I just didn't want to watch it. <laughs> God leads you. It's amazing. Um, and what to do. Um, and uh, I want to validate the presence of Christians. Okay, And I can tell. I have special discernment. I can tell when there's a large degree of non-Christians playing in a basketball game. I'm like, sorry, I'd rather bless the Christian community and go and be a presence and take care of my own body, which is the Temple of the Holy Ghost and the Trinity Western Gym while bringing energy to the other Christian athletes that are in there. Um, now, um, I want to preach briefly on the word discern, because it's such a beautiful word for the number three. Like, it's just the way it's structured. There's three letters in discern that divide by three. Uh, C in the center. Wow, uh, that was supposed to be an orange. C in the center, and then I right here, and then R right here. It's too beautiful. And then the S and E make 24, triple eight, and the D and N make 18. Like, the word discern, is so beautiful, and then at 72, a triple of triple eights, okay? Um, you know, the classic three by three grid of eights. Um, the word discern is so beautiful for the number three, it's not even funny, okay? Um, but the Holy Ghost gives you discernment and speed. Where to go next, what to do, whether or not to stay and watch something, whether or not to move on, what to do with your body, who to talk to, where to go, um, okay? So you have efficiency in your life, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers against the Golden State Warriors. Um, I am probably going to watch at least a portion of the game live tomorrow night with the Golden State Warriors at home. I believe they are going to win that game and then uh, the finals do not start until June 4th. Um, <clears throat> but the three fest is just going to continue and uh, so keep your eyes on that stuff. Um, but yeah, from a... Uh, so personal threes for the day, the, the, the journey to Trinity Western University. Oh yeah, when you come to Trinity Western University, the sign says, welcome to Trinity Western University. And of course, welcome to divides by three, very famous set of letters in all over the world. Welcome to, okay, Langley, BC, Canada. Welcome to Trinity Western University, divides by three. And then, okay, this is one of those electronic signs. Then they switch to the date, the time, and the temperature. Now that's a true academic institution, the lovers of numbers. The date, the time, and the temperature. Well, by the divine, by divine Lawrence, do the math on the word date, time, and temperature. 
Okay, one divides by three, one is plus one, one is plus two, so you knit the three together and it divides by three. Date, time, and temperature. And you see this uh, on signage, on digital billboards all over the universe. So let's say the, uh, the date is 03-03-15, what have you. Let's say the time is 3.33 p.m. and the temperature is exactly 23 degrees Celsius. Okay. By the way, all those numbers glorify the number three. Um, day, time, temperature. Of course, we always say C for Celsius or F for Fahrenheit because both letters divide by three. Now you know. And the word degrees divides by three. Okay, so. Um, but now do the math on date, time, and temperature. Date equals day equals 30. Okay. Time equals 47 equals the 15th prime glorifies three and the root of time divides by three. Check. All time solved. That's plus two and then temperature is plus one. So date, time, and temperature uh, all divides by three. I'll leave you to do that one for homework. Okay. Um, oh yeah, while I was at Trinity Western University, they have a ball hockey box there, and there were students using it. Well, do the math. Hockey box equals worship, equals love plus love. And then ball equals half a love. So a ball hockey box equals love plus love plus half a love. So can you find love in a hockey box? Of course you can. Okay. Hockey is 67 equals water. Okay, you can do that for homework. Hockey box equals 108 equals worship. Okay, and then add the word ball, which is half a love. So that's love plus love plus half a love in a ball hockey box by divine ordinance, friends. By divine ordinance. Now I can't resist, you know, digging in here. Let's get a 27 right there, and then let's get a 27 right there. Wow, and then we've got say, another. Uh, uh, 54 love. Okay, so I found the two loves in hockey box and then ball is half a love. Done. Orda that's ordained by heaven. Okay, that's the exact set of letters that God ordained for this item known as a ball hockey box. Imagine you're playing one of those games where you like place, you know, recreation facilities around the school or the territory or the map and you're in control. Well, you pick the ball hockey box, you place it right there, and then the people use it in the name of love. Hockey box equals worship equals love plus love. Ball hockey box is love plus love plus half a love. And the students were having a blast. Um, Trinity Western University is like a resort. It really is. And they have tennis courts. Well, tennis courts divides by three. And there were students using the tennis courts. They have a gym. Gym divides by three. Three letters. You're just like, you have a basketball court. Love plus love plus love. You're like, how much more do you want? Ooh, volleyball court. I haven't done that one until now. How did I miss that? Well, basketball court divides by three, and then volleyball court divides by three, which is a personal favorite of mine, okay? Volleyball courts, a basketball court is triple love. Well, what's volleyball court? You get the bookends there, to make 42, you need another 12 points there. Grab that, now you've got love right there, and you've got love number two, we've already got love plus love. Now let's get, wow, loaded, another, another, wow, I'm hitting this one out of the park. We got three loves, composed of two 27s there. Now we've got, um, Another, so it's three loves plus 33. You gotta be kidding me. So volleyball court equals love plus love plus love plus 33. And 33 equals aw oh man. It's so beautiful, it's painful. And the current date and time for historic purposes is precisely 9.15 p.m. I'm not joking folks, even that time divides by three. It is 9.15 p.m on May 26, 2015, okay? And I will even pan the camera off to get a shot of the computer so you can know I'm not making this up. Come on, son, get it in time. Whoa, focus, in the name of love. Where are you? There you are. 9.15 p.m., there's the date and time for historic purposes in the name of love, because God is love. There, just change to 9.16. Okay, so back up we go. On to the tripod you come, okay. Let's get the zoom correct. And the word zoom divides by three. Okay, so here we go. Da, da, da. By the way, this camera is called a Handycam, and Handycam divides by three. And we've solved Sony a million times. So it doesn't really matter if it's like perfectly centered or not. We just got to keep moving quickly. Okay. So, uh, basketball court equals love plus love plus love. Volleyball court equals love plus love plus love plus 33. And 33 equals all men. I'm just going to try and pull it up a little bit so I'm not so low in the frame there. There, that's, that's better. Perfect. Um, so, that's amazing. Basketball court equals love plus love plus love. 
Volleyball court equals love plus love plus love plus 33 equals amen. Yes, and if you study the dimensions of a volleyball court, like volleyball is the most three-loaded game of all time. In my opinion, it's the king of games regarding the number three. Okay, because you cannot be a one-man show or a one-woman show on the volleyball court. That is impossible. <laughs> you need, you know, to pass and touch the ball like three times to have a successful play, which means, you know, you need teammates kind of, you know. It's, it's just the most three-loaded game of all time. And I saw volleyball terms in previous video. Bump set, spike, divides by three. In words, pass, set, spike, divides by three. Pass is plus one. Set is plus two. Spike divides by three perfectly. Everything about it is perfect. Um, of course, volleyballs traditionally have three panels all over them. Mikasa equals love. Kachikara equals 72, a triple of triple eights. The court has a three-meter line, nine meters long. Like it's... Um, you got three three players in the front, three players in the back row. You know, maximum three hits. Serve divides by three. Um, and on, on jump serve divides by three. Float serve divides by three. Net divides by three. Yada 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 yada. Volleyball and then study the history of volleyball and you'll just okay. But that's so awesome. So volleyball court equals triple love plus thirty three. There you go. Wow. Um, and this was a divine appointment that happened at Trinity Western University. I was playing volleyball all by myself against the gym, spiking the ball against the wall. And then another fellow came in and asked for volleyball. And then, uh, so we were both just warming up against the wall. And then uh, he came over and asked me if we wanted to play a game called Pepper, where you bump set and spike back and forth between each other. And uh, I found out at the end that his name is Arthur, Asian guy. Well, that was a divine appointment because Derek plus Arthur divides by three perfectly. Chain links, K-A with threes, okay? I did the math myself and I checked it as soon as he told me his name because I know God is sovereign and that's what God has been leading me in. So uh, he asked me my name, I told him, I asked him his name, Arthur. Okay, Arthur plus Derek divides by three to 129 with a bunch of artistic effects for three in there. So it was ordained by God. Everything that happens in your life is a gift from God. So the fact that I went to Trinity Western University, was in the gym there, loved playing around with the volleyball, Mikasa, and in walks another volleyball player. There was basketball players in the gym. You know, there was like an actual game or a practice for the team. But uh, one other volleyball player, and, uh, and so we got to play some awesome pepper. And uh, Derek plus Arthur, ordained by God. Blessing between the two of us. Awesome. Ordained. Okay? Um, and... Uh, I just love railing on that thing. I can pound a volleyball real hard. <laughs> like, real hard. Especially the new Macasas. Oh, man. Those things are the best volleyballs ever made. Um, I can just rail that thing to the rafters. And there's two of those balls up in the rafters right now as I speak from the first time I was pounding it. <laughs> just pound that thing. <laughs> like, it's just the old toss-up like this. Toss it up, right hand crank and I pound that thing straight to the roof like every single time. It's just pure pleasure. I love volleyball and I love spiking and then spiker device but like everything about that. Somebody sent me a 53. That's a, uh, a slogan my brothers and I have. A 53 is a nice easy lob set in the center of the court. It's used for warm-ups traditionally at volleyball games. It's just a great way to release energy. <laughs> in the most satisfying way, you know, no, it's like, shh, bam, spike. Okay, um, and Mikasa equals love. And I'm just like, that's, that's the new treat, so it's a gift from God. So I take my uh, Trinity Western University student pass, get in at the gym there. Um, my favorite is honestly the court, the actual game, like the gym, playing volleyball, spiking it against the wall, start by doing some setting, and... Um, I had a divine appointment with a guy named Arthur. It's the first time I met him. Ordained by heaven. Derek plus Arthur divides by three. Um, awesome time there. Um, threw, and then threw a few weights around. Not a whole lot. Um, just led by the Holy Ghost. And then, yeah, so you've just scooped up new gems on like weight brand companies and all this stuff. Um, so yeah, um, the threes continue to happen. Um, Golden State Warriors are going to win the NBA championship. And it's going, to be all, it's going to be the ultimate three fest of all time because they're playing against the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's going to be a mighty matchup of threes. We're going to see threes, 
they're the, the most free stamp teams in the league. Cleveland Cavaliers, I've preached on it a million times, okay? Not just the names of the teams at large, but the names of the stadiums they play in, the names of the key players. It's all threes. It's three maximum, okay? Uh, it's it's going to be a three fest. Just know for a certain that it's going to be the most overwhelming sequence of threes that you can possibly feast on in an NBA Finals, okay? Regardless of, you know, it's just going to be a three fest, okay? But I personally declare with all my soul that the Golden State Warriors will win the NBA championship. They're the Christian team. It's a God story all over it. Um, and uh, LeBron James is also a Christian. And, um, but uh, I just see more of the team's team in the Golden State Warriors where it's a real team, okay? Real balance amongst the whole team and and the fact that they've got the star three-point shooters, it's, it's just too much for the number three. It's just too much, okay? Um, so stay tuned and watch those games. Um, at least the highlights, okay? God will lead you. God will lead you personally. I love that, okay? Um, and uh, man, I love going to Trinity Western University. It's just a resort. It's like a resort, you know? And yet the whole world would be like a resort if everyone was Christian. <laughs> we wouldn't actually need resorts if everyone was Christian, you know? <laughs> the whole world would be a paradise, thank you very much. Everywhere you go, there would be a smiley, happy person that knows and loves Jesus and, like, has tons of love on the inside of them. What are we waiting for? Okay, um, so, um, yeah, I love it, though. Just ordained. I love sharing the... Uh, Ordinances in my gems from, in personal life that's divided by three. So, um, Trinity Western University, totally awesome. I marvel, folks, and I'm not joking. And this is not something I plan, it's just something I feel. Like, when I drive over to the gym at Trinity Western University, I just naturally parked in the spot that felt the most natural. And when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you just feel things. You feel exactly where you should go, you feel exactly when you should leave, and you feel exactly where you want to be. And lo and behold, when I go and park my car at the gym at Trinity Western University, I am parked exactly in parking spot number 27, which is three times three times three, okay? And I simply notice the number 27 as I'm parking in that spot. Just feeling that this is the, per this is the spot I want to park in. 27, 3 times 3 times 3. You can come to Trinity Western University and see where that spot is by the gym. They're numbered with numbers. Like just, you know, why do they number the parking spots outside of their gym? You know, how many places do that? Well... <laughs> That's what they've done, and so I parked in parking spot number 27 by Divine Ornus. Okay? And I thoroughly enjoyed my time at the gym there. Okay? And, um, God has been talking to me about, you know, who you validate. Where are you going? Okay? Who are you bringing energy to? Who are you being a blessing to? Okay? Go to Christian community. So I, I go to the gym at Trinity Western University tonight, and I'm being a blessing to Christians, the family of God. Okay? And I am promoting the name of Jesus by being on a Christian campus, okay? Validating the decision of Christ seeking people to be there, and um, bringing my energy to the atmosphere. And the blessing of your presence. You know, you, you bring presence with you. This, the presence of God will literally bless an entire atmosphere that you go to. So when I go to Trinity Western University, and I go into the gym with a, a gold medal Olympic class volleyball, and I'm putting in my utmost energy and skill in pounding that thing like an Olympian against the wall, I am bringing a level of inspiration and energy and excellence to anyone and everyone that is in that gym. And I'm raising the energy level and I'm raising the intensity level and I'm raising the excellence level for the Christian people in that gym. And that is a blessing to all. Whenever you give your 100%, you are rubbing off on others. Okay. 
but do that in a Christian environment where people are proud of the name of Jesus, where the whole thing is dedicated to Jesus, where it is holy ground, we say, okay? Where there is blessing, you know? And um, that's what all schools need to become. It's not complicated. Um, but man, I, I love being physical, just total exertion, total volleyball is one of my favorites of all time. Um, doing a bunch of jumping, touching the rim, just get some good jumps in there. Um, use, use the gym like crazy, jumping around, just getting as much hang time as I can, getting my hops uh, going, spiking the ball as hard as I can, just awesome. Played some great pepper with uh, Arthur, just really um, awesome focus, great touches. Um, and I'm parked in parking spot number 27 the whole time. Like, three times three times three. I'm just like, it's good to be with God. Um, okay. <laughs> and, uh, by the way, you know, I've, it's just amazing all the threes that are all coinciding this year. Like, this year was McDonald's 60th anniversary. It's also Disneyland's 60th anniversary. And there's a poster on the bus stop right in front of the junction, the T entrance into Trinity Western University. It's like Disneyland, diamond, 60. Well, 60 equals word equals diamond. And that's why it's, you know, it's for the glory of the Trinity, okay? But uh, a few big obvious gems, like Disneyland, 60th anniversary this year, McDonald's, 60th anniversary this year. I've preached on both of those. Um, but, um, yeah, so cool. So cool how every, it's just a treasure hunt everywhere you go, and you're just like, what's going to happen next? Oh, at Trinity Western University, they were giving away free pop. It was just a sign on the wall. I'm like, I love the family of God. I love Christians. <laughs> because they just give stuff away. Um, and there's faith. And there's believing. <laughs> it's just like, here, you want some free pop? So outside the gym, they just had a sign, you know, pasted on the wall, said free pop. And free pop divides by three. <laughs> so... It's a blessing from God. Free pop. Free pop. E and the P in it together. E and the P in it together. That's 21 plus 21. That's 42. Okay. Plus another um, 24 is 66. Plus 15 equals 81. Amazing. So free pop is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. There you go. So go to Trinity Western University and get a free pop. <laughs> You get a whole bunch. They had a couple cases of them. Coca-Cola. <laughs> you know. So there you go. Free pop equals three times three times three times three. Done. I've just solved every free pop in the history of the universe. <laughs> it's awesome. But these are it's like an Easter egg hunt. Now you're understanding your life for what it is. It's a stage. It's God's ordained treasure fest for you. And you just... He's with you, you're walking along, and he's leading you where to go, and lo and behold, I feel like going into the Trinity Western Gym, and oh, free pop. Oh, nothing, you know, just everything. You're just like, here it comes again. It's awesome. Um, and the more you look, the more you see. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I'm, I just feel, I want to go back tomorrow and just rail on some ball, some volleyballs, like, all day long. <laughs> if I had the right crew, I could easily play volleyball, indoor volleyball, all day long. With, like, a health food buffet right next door, I'd be like, yeah, this is a good day. Um, and, um... <sighs> Fun stuff. The place is like a resort. I mean, it's like surrounded by beautiful trees. It's removed into the country. It's gorgeous. This time of year is gorgeous in British Columbia. It's uh, near the end of May. Days are long. You know, sunsets, beautiful warm air, just clean and cold, clear. And, um, but uh, man, I mean, Christian environment is so much more peaceful. Peace is priceless, folks. Uh, godless junk uh, has no peace. There's just no peace there. There's no peace whatsoever. Uh, the 
But when you're on a Christian ground, like Trinity Western, it's just peace. You're like, yeah, this place belongs to God, it's dedicated to Jesus, and there's peace here. People understand the truth here. There's dignity, there's respect, there's love, there's kindness, there's camaraderie, there's open doors. People gladly give things to you, don't question your presence, like, you know, I'm in the gym with a volleyball, spiking up a storm, and, you know, the coach, there's a, ball, there's a basketball practice that's going to start. Coach doesn't, you know, say anything to me, doesn't throw me out, doesn't question things. He's just happy to see some more energy in the gym, and it's awesome. It's just like, there's fearlessness, just, yeah, use the facility, sure, just, you know, come on in, be blessed, son, this is God's house, you know. Plenty of room here, just use what you need, take what you need, just, man, just tennis courts, I mean, ball hockey box, that was an awesome gem. And the Holy Ghost just says things to me, it's like, oh, ball hockey box, threes, oh, tennis courts, threes, and they have three of them there, and it's just like, the great treasure hunting teams. You don't even have to be treasure hunting, I'm just literally like, like I said, folks, when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you actually do just go where you feel like going. Your desires have been healed, and you are, you just go where you feel like going. And that's what I did. Okay. I went where I feel like going. And I went to Trinity Western University, and moment by moment, I just go where I feel like going, and do what I feel like doing, and it's all beautiful. It's all very wonderful. Um, and... Uh, this word discern is very important, so, for example, I'm going to tell you the truth here. When I turned on the, uh, I thought maybe I would check out some of the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the um, Atlanta Hawks game. But um, when I looked at the players' faces, they show the starting lineups of both teams. And I looked at the players' faces of the, the people that are going to start for both teams. And um, the Holy Ghost just reveals to me that most of them are not, are not Christian. And I literally hear the word darkness. It's the truth. When you don't have Christ, your life is in darkness. And I saw that on the faces of the starting lineup players of most of that game. And you just, you, um, you know, why would you watch people why would you spend your time? It's like Christians are the light of the world. It's like we're not just supposed to spend our time watching people that don't have the Spirit of God. And we're supposed to be the givers of light rather than the watchers of darkness. Like, you know, the, the Holy Ghost gives you discernment. And God is gracious. He has a plan for, for everything. And, you know, as I've said, He's going to use the numbers of everything to glorify Himself maximally, like the name of the team, Cleveland Cavaliers. And, but, um... He'll lead you. He will give you discernment. He will tell you whether something specifically um, is what he wants you to do right then. Okay. Don't watch this game right now. You don't need to. And I just came home and checked the results, and I, sure enough, I knew that the um, Cavaliers were going to win. Huge margin. Atlanta barely turned out to even play. It was, and yada yada, whatever. Um, and then one of my favorite things about God is is uh, what I call the override button. <laughs> and the word override divides by three. <laughs> override. The override. Okay. That is to say, God is allowed to do anything that he wants. <laughs> you think you might be hooped. You think you might be, you know, an impossible case. You think there's an impossible situation. You think uh, you're out of line. You think things can't be fixed or something, God can just press the override button, the big red override button, and say, guess again, I'm the miracle working God. <laughs> I work all things together for the good of those who love me. I love that word, override, divides by three, it's beautiful. Um, and, uh, but this whole walk with God is personal. Okay, the Holy Ghost is inside of you. And like I said, you will simply go where you feel like going, do what you feel like doing, say what you feel like saying, and think what you feel like thinking. That is the definition of peace with God, total alignment, okay? And, um, 
and you will be free from spending time doing things that you actually don't want to spend time doing and don't need to spend time doing. Um, but, but bless the family of God. Bless Christian people. Um, live. Spend your time in Christian environments where the brothers and sisters are and give your presence and your energy and your joy and your love and your talents and your support and your affirmation to them. Christ cares like crazy about the unity and the beauty of his bride, the body. Okay? Um, pray for the world. Make videos like this that declare the obvious truth. Post them on YouTube. You know, drop notes all over high-hit videos on YouTube, pointing them to this channel where searching people in the world can search for the truth day and night for whatever they want, get fed, get saved. Okay? God will lead you. To, each person is unique. Okay? God will lead you personally. If you're called to be an evangelist, he'll lead you in doing that. If you're called to bless the family of God for a season, he'll do that. It's a one day at a time walk with God. I love that. It's a personal relationship. He'll tell you what to do every step. Okay? And you will literally feel it in your gut, where you what you should do every step. It's just, it's awesome. It's very free. Okay? Um... So, awesome three, so blessed. We thank God and we worship God for everything, day and night. There's nothing to do except thank and praise. There's nothing to do except thank and praise and worship and be in love with God. Okay? It's just awesome. So happy. So happy. What a, what a blessed day.